When did you decide to turn this into a business? Because that's really what it is for you. I know you're the spokesperson for Mac and all that. So you've turned this into, into a business, and I know that there are many guys out there who dress as women who wish that they could be you and don't know how to work it. <laughs> Well, you know, I always wanted to be a star ever since I was a little drag queen growing up in Georgia. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> I always wanted to be a star, and I started going to um, acting classes and, and just really getting out there. And then when I was about 21, I wrote into a television show that's a public access show, mm -hmm. and that's what, that's what started it all. And then the drag thing sort of really happened by accident. I was, I was doing punk, I had a mohawk, and I play with makeup and stuff, and then some people on a lark said, why don't you do drag and see what it looks like? Honey, the reaction I got from people was amazing. I couldn't believe it. You know, from men, women, dogs passing by on the street. Wow, that must be fun. It is fun. It's a lot of fun. It's like really getting all that energy out that is sort of stuffed down deep inside. I think everybody ought to get in some type of drag, you know? I mean, when I was a kid, I dressed up as a cowboy, as whatever. Yeah, and it brings something. out different aspects of your personality. I think when you're on this planet, in this lifetime, it's important to try different things. Life is a banquet, and most People are starving to death. <laughs> yeah. Hi, YouTubers. I'm excited to give you an update about our own YouTube channel. Now you can find new videos every day. They're the kind of videos that will make you look at life differently. They may even make you laugh a little bit. Subscribe to the OWN channel today, and we'll see you on YouTube.